Over the past years, the unprecedented growth and prosperity of the Philippines was accompanied by the alarming increase of plastic-intensive consumer goods, with Filipinos disposing more than 163 million plastic sachets daily. Only 22% of the total cities and municipalities of the Philippines could be accommodated by sanitary landfills. Furthermore, up to 74% of the country's collected plastic waste end up polluting coastal areas and threatening marine life. As such, even prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, the Philippines was already drowning in plastic. What more now? That single plastic usage is critical in containing the spread of the virus, all the while allowing the operations of the society to continue. I'm Kim, Light, Jamea, and Luella. We, we are students of Philippine Science High, High School East Plus and, and, and this is, is the environmental impact of COVID-19. A new breed of plastic pollution. Crisis was then a crisis. The pandemic has disrupted the fight to limit single use plastic in the Philippines. Since the country's first COVID 19 case last January 30, the public has depended on plastic items such as face masks and shields for reliable personal protection. Furthermore, the Philippines has acquired one of the longest lockdowns in the world, forcing people to rely heavily on takeaway food and parcel delivery to meet their basic needs. Several establishments also temporarily ceased the use of reusable cups and utensils over fear of spreading the virus. With no end in sight for the COVID crisis in the country, the increasing demand for plastic may result to yet another crisis. A new breed of plastic. With a public's lack of knowledge in proper garbage disposal, surgical masks, gloves, and alcohol bottles have washed up on coastal areas in the Philippines. The absence of disposal facilities and several healthcare infrastructures has caused large amounts of infectious waste to end up in seas and rivers. However, what aggravates this problem is the disregard of plastic pollution in the country. Protests from climate activists are left unheard, as the pandemic response should be everyone's utmost priority. With the COVID crisis forcing everyone to rely on plastic to save their lives, we fear that the pandemic could lead to an even larger environmental crisis in the future. With the increasing volume of plastics disposed, specifically medical and infectious waste, authorities are worried that landfills may reach their maximum capacity and volume reduction through burning of waste may be needed. Though the government is looking into building new sanitary landfills as a solution, it takes at least six months to build one. Also, most personal protective equipment are made of non-woven materials and polymers that would likely degrade into smaller microplastics into our ocean, which is very damaging for our marine wildlife and fishery. According to studies, if no immediate action would be taken, the amount of plastic dumped into the ocean may triple by 2040. Lawmakers in the country have taken measures to mitigate plastic pollution by proposing Senate bills. The straw and stir ban of 2018 and the ban on single use plastic products, which prohibits food establishments from offering any single use beverage straw and stirrer made of plastic or any other non biodegradable material, and forbids stores and groceries to pack with single use plastics. Climate rallies were also held last September 25, spearheaded by the Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines, demanding accountability from governments and large-scale polluters. It also campaigned against the terror instilled upon environmental defenders by the country's anti-terrorism law. There are various ways to help mitigate the problems that may arise from COVID-19 and proper plastic waste disposal. Plastic waste like surgical masks, gloves, and plastic bottles for alcohol and sanitizer should be placed in specific colored bags for easy separation and treatment along with other biomedical waste. The government can also help eliminate single-use plastic by funding innovations that improve the designs of the existing products, making them reusable after disinfecting or washing. Investments in the development of technologies that recycle mixed and complex forms of plastics should also be done. Educating the people about proper plastic waste management is also a must. 